Hello everyone, Roger here from Vantage Home Loans, back again for our weekly mortgage news update. Today is Memorial Day, so I just want to start off by um, saying thank you to all the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice um, to give us our freedom. Thank you, we appreciate you, um, and we take this day to remember you guys. So, uh, moving on. So last week we had some big news about the Dodd-Frank rollbacks. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what that means and how it's gonna affect, you know, just the regular consumers. So it looks like all of the banks besides the 10 or 11 biggest banks in the country will no longer be restricted by the Dodd-Frank rules. So basically what that was is um, the Dodd-Frank was rules and regulations that made it very, very strict um, to get a home loan and get a mortgage and the types of programs that were available. So the top 11 biggest banks that have assets over 250 billion uh, will still be confined by these rules, but all other banks will um, have freedom to kind of open up their guidelines, offer new and different products uh, that may be able to help people in their community. So the Wells Fargo's, B of A's, Chase, Citigroup, those banks will, will not be included. But all the other banks like credit unions um, and smaller lenders uh, will now be able to um, offer different products, make more exceptions on loans. Um, you'll start seeing more products like interest only loans and things of that sort. Um, they might not be as strict as far as qualifying, so a little bit more lenient on maybe DTI ratios or loan to value ratios and things like that. So um, our thinking here um, is the reason that this is, um, they've uh, decided to um, make these changes is if these smaller banks decide to offer these loans and things don't turn out well and they're gonna go under, um, these big banks can come in and bail out these smaller banks. So that was kind of the problem last time. There was no one to bail out the big banks, so the government ended up having to do it. So um, this is kind of what we think is the reasoning behind not allowing the 10 or 11 biggest banks to take part in the rollbacks. Um, other than that, rates spiked last week, but then also fell back down. So maybe an eighth higher than what rates were um, you know, all year this year. So although it spiked, it came back down and pretty decent levels, still um, very good value. You know, if you're getting a refinance or a purchase to get cash out and pay off higher interest debt. Um, so that's about it for this week. Um, hope you guys all have a great rest of your Monday, Memorial Day weekend, and have a great week ahead. And please feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.